That debate was the night the two black Tennessee lawmakers were expelled, but not the white one, for their positions joining anti-gun protesters while their white female colleague, again, she was there too, she got to keep her job. Days later, though, the two men were reinstated. So what is the moral of the story? And let's discuss. Back for the new debate, conservative talk show host Ben Ferguson, along with Democratic Tennessee state lawmaker and Democratic colleague, of course, of the two state reps who were just reinstated, Antonio Parkinson. And may I start, Brother Parkinson, with your sartorial prowess. I saw a similar a uh, shade suit worn uh, by one of the returning legislators. Is there a message behind uh, the good suit? Do right. That's the message. Do right. And you come with the white hat tonight, so you are coming to, uh, I will say, argue uh, the good argument. What does it mean to you that these two lawmakers were reinstated? What is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is we probably should have thought long and hard about expelling them in the first place. Ben Ferguson, do you yeah. believe now with the benefit of hindsight uh, that expelling did not get done what was hoped for? No, I think rules are rules and you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. If you bring a bullhorn to the floor of the House, you deserve to be expelled. If you get sent back by your colleagues in your local district until there's a special election, I also respect that as well. But you can't just decide that the rules don't apply to you. We've learned a lot more, by the way, about these two individuals that were expelled that people didn't know beforehand that the rules apparently, for example, with Justin Jones don't apply when he was standing on top of a police car during the Black Lives Matter protests in 2020, when he assaulted someone in their car caught on video during those rallies. In fact, he was banned from being at the state capitol. So this is a pattern for Jones specifically, where he has decided I don't have to follow any rule I don't want to follow. And every time I get in trouble, I get to go out there and claim that race had to be involved in it. And this is how he is making his fame. This is the reality of an individual that says the rules apply to you. I pass laws. You better follow. But if there's rules for me or laws for me, I don't have to listen to a damn one of them. Representative. So um, thank you, Ben, for that long soliloquy. It seems like you're just trying to run the clock on the show. But let me tell you this. Just Justin Jones facts, has paid brother. his dues. He's, pay he's paid his dues. Let's not interrupt. We're not going to do that tonight. He's paid his dues. He's been, act he's been an activist for a long time. The man has been arrested 14 times with tr for trying to get the word out. Also, I want to point this out for all you conservatives, the ones that claim to be conservatives. We're looking at $300,000 to $500,000 per election. Three hundred to five hundred thousand dollars on the taxpayers per you election, a special that. election that will probably stop. That will probably not even have an opponent running against them. That's a waste of taxpayer dollars. Y'all need to quit playing conservative. I think that 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 these Democrats and the and and, and black folks are really the true conservatives here. You guys play and just use the word as a buzzword. And, 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 and furthermore. Money. Furthermore, you're concerned. No, you should have thought about it, or your your people should have thought about it when they were ousting these individuals. And and so and, and you know what? There are, are probably another twelve people that broke the rules on the House floor by having guns in their backs. You're going to talk about that, or we're we going to act that, like that didn't happen? No, we're not going to go after them because we're not going to waste taxpayer dollars like you broken, guys are. This is the difference no, when you're concerned. Gonna, what we're going to do? The rules hey, hey, no, no, we're not going to play the interrupt game. We're not going to bully on TV tonight. We're not going to try that. My friend, you're running out that. The guy, to use the your guy, term. Let's you guys some time ran over it. Here. You ran. You shot your wad, and you're getting you're getting spanked. Pretty because, disgusting, all right, all right, That's hold pretty violent. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me reframe it. Let me reframe. No, no. How about that's We're disgusting, all... and say you apologize for being a disgusting how about, person how about, on national how, TV. How about, how about you quit jumping over my words, Ben, and 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 let's, let's have a, let's have a, a discussion. That's the reason why we're here. The reason why we're here is because conservatives are always trying to silence everyone else. So we're not going right, to have wow. that tonight. So let, let's reset on this, Ben. Is it troubling yeah. to you that the white female representative who was also there mm -hmm. did not get treated the same way by the body? Well, she did. And the person that is her friend that decided not to expel her, the one vote that changed, it was only one vote, 
said that she did not take the blowhorn, she did not lead in chants, and she was not leading in the same way the other two members were. And clearly that representative stated that if she would have grabbed that bullhorn and would have led those chants from the floor of the House, he would have voted to expel her. She was much more respectful. She was standing on the side. She never grabbed that bullhorn and started chanting and yelling. That is why he changed his vote on her. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.